Welcome to Deconstructing CDK Patterns and today what we're going to be talking about is how do you deploy an Angular or a React website into AWS using S3 as your storage medium. So you can see the technologies we will be talking about along the bottom are AWS Certificate Manager, Amazon S3, Angular, React, Amazon Route 53, Amazon CloudFront and of course AWS CDK. If you want to deploy a website onto AWS, this is pretty much what your production architecture is going to look like. You start from the right hand side where you have an S3 bucket, which is what stores the code for your Angular or React website. You put in front of that a CloudFront distribution, and this uses Amazon Certificate Manager to do your SSL certification. Then you can use Route 53 to create a custom domain for your website and that should pretty much be all you need to do. So without jumping too deep into the theory, I'm going to just go straight ahead and show you how to deploy this. Now if you want to follow along while we're deploying this, every CDK pattern can be accessed in one command. So I'm going to be using these in just a second, but for your own purposes, if you want to access the Angular pattern, it's just a case of doing mpx cdkp init s3-angular-website and if you want the react pattern again it's very similar mpx cdkp init s3-react-website and that will bring you down just that pattern in typescript if you want it in python you can just add a flag of dash dash language equals python and that will give you the Python CDK implementation of these two patterns. Jumping into Cloud9, we can now run these two commands. So npx cdkp init s3 angular website and then this one React website and this is going off and doing a git clone of these two patterns but this is slightly slower than normal because on top of just pulling down the CDK it also is building our website which means that it is pulling down the dependencies for both React and Angular and then doing our first build of those projects which React is quicker than Angular in this sense but um, yeah, that's, that's why that's going to take a couple of minutes. While that is going on, if we look at the code base, inside the S3 Angular website folder, we have two child folders, and then we have some top level files. If we look inside package.json, you can see that this has a couple of scripts defined. Now, the reason why I have defined this file is because every pattern on cdkpatterns.com follows the same contract and that contract is that you should be able to just jump into the pattern install the dependencies and then npm run build and npm run deploy and it should deploy if i didn't include this package.json file then you would have had to build the website and then build the cdk and run deploy and it was extra steps so all this really does is orchestrate those build and deploys in the correct order. You can see if you run npm run build, what it does is it first of all builds the website and then builds CDK. And if we look at the build website command, all it does is jumps into the website folder, installs the dependencies, runs the build and jumps out. And then build CDK, it jumps into the CDK folder it installs the dependencies, it runs the build, and it jumps out. So it's just making sure that the website is built before you run the build on the CDK project. And that is because the S3 deploy construct will actually throw an error if the website is not built first. So they need to be done in that order. The deploy task just makes sure that the build of the website and CDK was done and then jumps inside the CDK folder and runs deploy. So Angular is finished, 
React is finished. Let's just jump in and deploy these things. Deploy. Okay, so after the package.json, we have our CDK and our website folder. The website folder contains our Angular website in this case. Now, this is not a customized, tailored website. There is nothing special about this code. This is the website you would get if you use the Angular CLI to create a new site. And I will show you after we've done this whole deploy, I'll show you what it would be like to modify this to create your own site. The only thing I really want to talk through in here is if you haven't seen Angular before, when you do an npm run build, it creates a dist folder, which is where the production version of your site lives whenever it's applied all of its minimizing and cross-browser compatibility. So in this case, this goes to website dist example. And keep that in mind because we're gonna use that in just two seconds. Jumping inside the CDK folder, I mean, this is a standard CDK like package. The only thing you need to look at in here is the CDK stack.ts. And this is a super tiny stack. It just has 16 lines of code and the reason why is because we're using this SPA deploy construct. This is a JSII construct that I created, which abstracts most of the logic away from you and makes it really easy to deploy a website. So you can see in this case, we have a new SPA deploy, but we're not doing the full architecture diagram I showed you at the start. We're creating a basic site. And what that means is we're not doing CloudFront, we're not doing SSL certs, we're not doing custom domains. We are just putting our website in an S3 bucket. And in order to do that, we need to tell it the index doc is at index.html and the website folder is that dist folder that I talked about a minute ago. Okay, so while, while this is still finishing deploying to show you, the CDK SPA deploy construct is a JSII module. And that means you can write TypeScript and compile and publish it to multiple different languages like artifact stores. So for instance, this one is deployed to NPM and PyPy, but it could be deployed to Maven and to others. So we're using it in this basic site format, but to show you some of the other options, you can create the CloudFront yourself manually. So you can go in and say, I just want a CloudFront distribution, which still doesn't give you a custom domain name that will give you SSL, but it will still be a random URL that AWS gives you. Or with some of the advanced usage down here, you can actually say, do you know what? I, ha I have a hosted zone already on AWS. So the zone name is cdkpatterns.com. That's it. It will go off and create that full architecture that we discussed at the start. It will create your S3 bucket. It will put your Angular or React website in it. It will create your CloudFront distribution. It will use Amazon Certificate Manager to get your SSL cert for cdkpatterns.com. And then finally, it'll use Route 53 to give you the DNS to set that all up. And then if you wanna do it yourself, it also gives you the option to say, create site with CloudFront, pass in the certificate arm and pass in the aliases which will set up your Route 53 and your CloudFront distributions. So now that we've talked through briefly what that module does, our websites have been deployed. So if I just open this URL, we should see, there you go. There's the standard Angular website running on a random URL because we don't have a custom domain. I do the React one. There we go. There's the standard create React app screen you see on a new app. Again, on its own random URL. I've talked through the Angular one, but to show you the React one, it looks exactly the same 
as the Angular one in terms of format. We have two child folders, one for CDK, one for website, and a package.json that does the same thing for build and deploy. It's no different. Inside the website folder, we have the standard React website. And if you haven't seen React before, it when you do the build, it puts it inside a build folder as opposed to the dist folder in Angular. So that is why inside the CDK for this, inside CDK stack, we are this file is exactly the same as the other one. The only difference is it references that build folder instead of the dist folder. So now that I've showed you how to take this pattern and deploy it as standard, let's talk about what you would need to do if you wanted to tailor this and deploy your own custom website. So to do this, I'm going to modify the Angular one. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this website folder. It's gone. And then what I'm going to do is inside the S3 Angular website folder, I'm going to use the Angular CLI to generate a new site. So ng new website. And I'm just going to pick the defaults because this is just a demo. But you can see that has now recreated that folder and it's currently installing the packages. But the only one place that I'm going to need to change is inside the CDK folder, inside the lib. This references the example folder. But that's because the website I used was actually called example, whereas whenever this rebuilds, it will be inside a dist slash website folder. When it finishes, I will show you how CDK would feel. Okay, so that's finished. So if I just go CDK and then do npm run deploy, it'll fail because the folder doesn't exist. There you go. No such file or directory, dist slash example. And as mentioned, it's because inside website, I don't have a dist folder because I haven't built it yet. So if I jump into website, hit build, this will generate the dist folder. takes a wee second as it does all its building. And now we have a dist folder that inside it, as I mentioned, there's a website folder. So I'm going to change this to website. And I should be able to just jump into the CDK folder. And it's, it's going to look exactly the same, so I can't really prove it's a different website. Oh, because sorry, <laughs> npm run build. Have to build the CDK code in order to get it to point to the new folder. But this will deploy that website, and I'm pretty sure it's going to look exactly the same as the last one. But you're, we'll see what happens. It's, it's exactly the same with the React one. You could just use the create React app CLI and then just make sure the reference is correct in the CDK and make sure your React app is built before you do the deploy. And it should pick up the difference because it'll currently be doing a CloudFormation diff and most of the resources are already deployed. The only thing that needs to change is your actual website. So it shouldn't take as long as the first one did. 
See, it's only updated to resources. There we go. Our site is deployed. I just open that up. Yep. The only difference is it says website instead of example here, but that did deploy and I didn't need to change the CDK at all except for pointing to the name of my site. So hopefully you learned something from this, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, come follow me on Twitter at CDK Patterns. Come and star the repo on cdkpatterns.com and follow, subscribe on YouTube for any future videos. Thanks everyone.